Hey there, Foxy Gamers, and welcome back to Satisfactory. As you can see, we had to build another biomass burner here because our factory is starting to get pretty big and we needed some more power. Hopefully we can get to some coal soon so that we can start actually automating our electricity because it is kind of a pain in the butt to have to go to the forest every now and then to collect some trees or uh, wood and leaves which I guess, yeah, equals trees, f to make our uh, biomass stuff. Words. Words are hard. Um, Alright, so for our milestones, we only have two left that we haven't researched yet before we need to actually start sending stuff off to the space station. We did get our conveyor belt MK2 completed. And so now we're just gonna do this awesome sink and awesome shop and see what all that is going to do for us because I've never done that before. So it would be fun to see what that's going to do. So we'll go ahead and just drop off everything we have here. Gonna have to go pick up some more ingredients. Um, all right, so we need some iron rods, copper wire, or just wire, I guess, and some concrete. And then I get to show you what our fancy new, well not new, I mean like I expanded on our iron area a bit to make it so that we can make a lot more stuff and hopefully utilize completely our uh, miner because before the miner was getting a lot of iron and it wasn't all getting put to use. So over here, we just still have our construction going. And it seems like two constructors per miner at the limestone is going to be the way to go. Because it does take three limestone per bag of concrete. So we'll go over here. I had to build a second box just in case it fills up. Because if we see over here, yeah, look at that. That's getting pretty full. And we're going to be needing a lot of concrete later on because that's what is required to build like all of our base pieces. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab all of that. I think that's probably enough for now. That'll basically give us 400 once we turn in the rest of the concrete to our milestone. And then we need to go pick up our copper stuff real quick and return to the base. Okay, there we go. We can send that stuff off and Milestone find out reached. what all this is about. We did also have our power go out here just a second ago. So let's program. make sure Following everything has fuel. We resources. might have just the ran out of actual power. Ah, yes, look at that. Awesome store, which can be exchanged okay, she, need, she needs to be quiet. All right, thank you. Yeah, so it does look like we're going to need to build yet another biomass burner as our power has reached its limit. So let's see here. I can't remember what we need to build this. Oh, no, we don't have enough iron rods. Well, I'm just going to make those real quick like here by hand because we've got some iron in store instead of running all the way over to our iron base. All right, there we go. We'll pop some of this in here. And... Oh, that's right. We gotta hook this up first. Do we have enough? Yes, we've got a couple power lines with some free slots. And now we can go ahead and turn that back on. I guess it's probably because I went over and took some copper wires or some cables from our copper area and the constructors started working again. All right, so let's see what happens if we make these new buildings. Awesome sink, got extra resources, fear not. Okay, so research data with that, the awesome shop, special bonus milestones and rewards. Okay, so it looks like we need to make both of these together. Hopefully we have... Ah, uh, nope, we don't have enough screws. Okay. I'm just gonna place these guys. Oh! Oh, look at that! We can actually automate this, apparently. Hmm. I'm not sh 
sure I want to do that just yet till we find out what this is actually for. Uh, I'm gonna make some screws real quick. Okay, oh wow, that's so tiny compared to this other thing that we just built. And it's weird because it takes so many more materials, I feel. But screws, yeah, screws make sense. Whoa! Huh. That's pretty nifty. Look at that! Wow! We can make different looking platforms. Interesting. I was wondering what happened to like the walkways and stuff because that was normally in one of these early milestones. Fix it cart. Ooh, interesting. Ah, yes, there's the stairs. Okay. Ha! Alright, so it looks like we gotta figure out- oh, and there's the coffee mug. We gotta figure out how to get these coupons. So let's see here. What happens if- oh, we gotta power it first. Grab you over here. So what happens if we just put in, say, will concrete work? What do we have to do here? Print coupons. Maybe we can't actually manually put anything in here. All right, I'm just gonna build a storage container real quick, and we're just gonna dump some stuff in here and see if that'll do anything. Why? Oh, shoot, can't afford. Okay, well, first of all, since I seem to be running low on all these ingredients, we're just gonna run over here to our iron base, and I'm gonna show you what I have done around here. As you know, we did some of this the last episode, and I'm realizing now that this conveyor belt is really gross here. I should fix that so it is looking better than that, but we'll do that at another time, because see, see, look at that. That's much prettier right there. Okay, so what I've done here is we've just kind of expanded this out, and it is true that there's some wasted space in the middle, which kind of drives me crazy. There's a lot of conveyor belts running all over the place. But the important thing, in my mind, was to make sure that everything looked neat and tidy, which I feel we've been successful at. Um, this guy right here is not actually necessary, but I had something else set up before, so that's why that's there. We may use that splitter some other time. So over here, we are making rotors, and we're going to need the rotors to make the parts that we're going to be sending to the space elevator which is what this guy is doing here, the smart plating. Oh, wow, so our reinforced iron plate dude is doing super well. Um, we have a storage container set up here so that we don't actually bottleneck this um, assembler here. It's going to be able to keep making this stuff even if it gets ahead of the other assembler there. So we made it split out like half of it goes over here and the other half goes into this guy so that even if this one didn't have any iron plates we still wouldn't lose a hundred percent of them to the assembler in case we need them for something else but for now everything is going to be going into that box because this conveyor belt is pretty backed up so let's see how many of these smart plates we have 28 not quite enough we're going to need 50 to send it up through the space elevator but that's okay. Um, it's it's not it's something that's gonna take a long time to make, so I I'm I'm pretty okay with that. All right. So this guy is actually seems like they're not getting rotors enough because we have sent some of them into this box. That might not be a good idea, although we are gonna want rotors for other things, which is why I had a splitter for this too. So let's see here. This makes two parts per minute, and it needs one rotor. How many rotors do we make per minute? Four parts per minute. Huh. Uh, so we could hypothetically just send them all into this guy, but then it could get backed up, and then... Yeah, shoot, I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it for now. May change that later. But anyhow, I came over here to pick up some iron rods, so let's see if I can actually remember where those were going. Follow the screws, because the screws are what the iron rods get turned into. 
Do I not have an iron rod storage box? I guess they're all just going straight into the screw constructors. Okay, well we're just gonna we're just gonna steal some iron rods from these constructors. Alright. Is there anything else we should pick up right now? Yeah, I'm gonna grab some of these iron ingots that we had over here because they're just kind of sitting around doing nothing. And we have so many extras that either maybe we can send these straight into the machine or maybe we can make a few things by hand over here and then send those things through the machine. So let's just find out what's going to happen with that. Okay, this is not being set up pretty at all because I'm just trying to see what's going to happen with this first. Um, and you know what? We're going to... Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. We're going to turn this into a fast conveyor belt so that it can transfer twice as much. Ah, okay, cool. So, my assumptions were correct. It does seem as though we can't actually put anything in here by hand. All right, interesting. Um, well, in that case, I'm going to tear this down and actually make this a little nicer. We will set this on a platform up here so that it's not driving me crazy with it's uneven ground there and we might need a little ramp here foundations are you gonna be enough no let's do the thick ramp there we go put this guy back oh where's the input there it is the still isn't gonna be very pretty for now because i'm gonna have to make a decision of where i want to put this long term but It'll be at least a little prettier than I had it before. There we go. And we definitely want the fast conveyor belt going into this guy. Otherwise, it's going to take forever. All right. Well, that is good news because I was wondering... Oops. we got to power it, too. I was wondering what I should do with all those extra ingots I had. So I guess that is our answer. Hooray. All right. There we go go fantastic finally have a use for those suckers that's a pretty cool mechanic actually that they've added because i was kind of wondering like well what happens if you have all this extra stuff that you don't really need there's i guess it's just gonna sit around and take up space because there was literally nothing you could do for that so it does look like it's gonna take a while for it to print things off i'm hope Bing. Oh man, is this just gonna give us the plans or is this like it gives us one of these items because oh man, that's gonna take forever to get enough coupons to actually make like if we want to make a whole bunch of staircases, that seems a little ridiculous. That's like basically here you go, it, one staircase costs a thousand iron ingots. Bleh, that that doesn't seem super balanced so we'll see what happens with that if we get the pattern or if that's just like actually here you go one staircase if that's the case i think we're going to be using ramps most of the time all right so the last thing we have here is jump pads we might as well select that milestone but as it is using 50 rotors and we need our rotors right now to make all the smart plating we're probably just going to hold off on actually finishing that now. I am going to dump off our smart plating over here. There we go. So we only need 22 more. Hopefully that won't take terribly long. Uh, but for now, I think it's a good idea to go back over to our copper area and perhaps give it the same treatment that we did iron. Now let's see. I already forgot which way our copper is. I think it's through this way. Yes, there we go. Also, I, like a dummy, I took forever to make a beacon, but the beacons are actually super useful. I'll show you what we can do here so that I stop forgetting which way to go to copper because my problem is that like I would always search for copper 
with my little tool like so and then there'd be two equidistant from wherever I was standing and I couldn't remember which one was where my base was. So if we go into here and take our beacons, then we can just plop this right here by our miner. Maybe, there we go. And then if we can configure this, we can call it copper. And we can choose a color. So my iron is blue. Let's make this one more of a reddish color. Kind of like to go with these muted colors here for our UI. So that should be good, right? Nope. It did not select a color for us. I guess I... Ah, I need to actually press the button that says select color. I suppose that makes sense. There we go. Ah, now you can see we have a little beacon here. It'd be cool if it told me the distance that we were from a thing, but that's okay. At least it shows the colors and then it, it gives us the little tool tip of what that is. All right, so I'm just gonna give this a quick, well, probably not so quick. It'll seem quick to you. I'm gonna give this a setup treatment similar to what we did to our iron spot. And then hopefully by the time I'm done with this, we'll be able to grab the rest of the smart plating for our uh, space elevator. Okay guys, we have our copper base set up here fairly well, I think. We had to put in a few ramps because this area wasn't completely flat, but it's not near as elevated as our iron area. Now one thing I did realize here is that this copper ore is actually impure. So this is only making 30 per, uh, per minute and our iron is making 120 because it's pure. Now for some reason I could have sworn that this was a pure copper spot. So I don't know if I just remember that incorrectly or if that actually changes over time the more you mine it, which could also be the case. But if that's true, then I don't know how you know how much is left because it doesn't seem like there's any sort of indicator here. So yeah, I don't know what's up with that. If any of you guys know, by all means, please, please feel free to tell me down in the comments because I feel like we've mined way more iron ore than we have copper and our iron spot is still pure. So that's rather strange. Anyway, we have this set up here to where it's creating copper cables. As you can see, it's a little full here. Um, and then we have just copper wire going into this box, which I could probably drop off a few here because I don't need to keep all of that in my inventory. And then over here, we have it slowly but surely making some copper sheet. And I actually don't know what this is used for yet. I guess it says primarily used for pipelines due to its high corrosive resistance, which I don't believe pipes are anything we've been able to make yet. So hopefully we'll just like be able to stockpile a little bit of that before we are ready to make some pipes. Let's go check on our, our fix it coupon thingamajigger and see if that's given us anything yet. All right, there we go. We've got three coupons available. Oh, that's so cute. Can I take it? Thank you. So how much? Oh man, and it requires more each coupon, huh? And we're all out of iron ingots in there. All right, well, we'll have to get some more of that. But first of all, let's see if this actually just gives us one item or, oh no, it looks like it does just give us those items. I guess we'll see. Oh! Oh, thank god, it's a schematic. Oh, phew! Okay. Well, that's good. So now we can... Where is it? Foundations? Aha! Stairs. Fantastic! That's gonna make our base building so much better so that I don't have to take up all this space with all these ugly ramps everywhere. The railings, I guess that's just to keep me from falling off unnecessarily. This will be a fun one to try out. It's going to be 10 tickets, so it's going to be a little while before we can get that, but I think maybe that'll be the next thing I try to get. I found it interesting that, let's see, where was it where it had, like, the parts? Yes. Biomass and biofuel. This is definitely not 
schematics because we already have those schematics but I guess this is like a quick way to make that stuff if you don't want to go around and farm everything but that seems like kind of a waste considering how much iron we just burned to get those three coupons but oh well there you have it uh, I think that's a pretty neat mechanic I actually really like this yeah I'm excited to unlock all of these things and see how cool of a base we can make. So next episode, we should probably be able to set off our space elevator. The smart plating should be done. And then we'll be able to see what that unlocks for us as well as uh, build whatever it, it gives us. And then we can see what ingredients we need for the next round. Anyway, that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. And until next time, stay foxy.